Hi, I'm Suzanne McCluskey, your former host of This Week in Jackson, and now a new format of This Is Jackson. And as you can see, we're in the heart of Jackson's construction with Lindsay Edwards, my co-host, and somewhere Aaron, my other co-host, Aaron Wilson. Thanks for joining us. Glad you can make it. Oh, yeah. You had quite, the, quite the commute there. <laughs> um, this is going to be a whole different format as far as uh, less detail, you can catch the information on the website, but we just want to let you know all the cool things, high level, what's happening in town, so you know what to do and where to go. And we'll kick it off with 45 pieces of Cheryl Ambergie. It's actually her 45th birthday. Cheryl's a local artist, very cool lady, very cool art. I had several pieces in her home and would like to get more. Uh, have either of you been to a second Sunday art walk? Yes. Yeah, they're a lot Love of fun, them. definitely. And Cheryl has a, uh, it's really cool because she seems to be involved with just about all of them. All things art. Yes. And so it's about time <laughs> that she galleries. gets her own little uh, spotlight. So. Yeah. And awesome. I don't know how she's going to do it, but it's actually 45 pieces. She started with a blank canvas uh -huh. earlier this month. And I think she was pulling some all-nighters trying to, to get this done wow. for the second Sunday art walk. And the second Sunday art walk, if you haven't been, self-explanatory, every second Sunday. Uh, there's live music. I think there might be snacks. Some of them do. There's always a featured artist this week, obviously, Cheryl Ambergie. It's this Sunday, September 13th. And uh, I think different activities occasionally. The, the Hungry Eggplant is there if you like food, mm. if you like vegetarian food. Killer food truck. Love it. We had it? I have not. Oh, I've heard about it. What I've heard of, about it. What so. kind of Jacksonian are you? Well, I've been gone start, for a little a while, one. so that's <laughs> true. A meat-eating one. Aaron's bringing back <laughs> a little bit of Detroit with him. Yeah. <laughs> and Aaron, tell us about Farm Fest. Oh yeah, well, there's a a bunch of great uh, kind of folky festivals that happen in Jackson every uh, summer and fall. Uh, Farm Fest is one of them. It's coming up here Saturday, September 19th. It is. Um, an educational event, good for all families, uh, to, at three different farms outside of the Jackson area. Two in Grass Lake, one up there in Stockbridge. Uh, there's tours happening at each farm every half an hour uh, from 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. at night. Um, it, each farm is a little bit different. I believe one's a dairy farm. One has to do more with a little bit of livestock and the other uh, with grain or, or something to that effect. Uh, so you, if, if I, okay, I don't go to farms ever. Why would I want to go? Well, that's a, a great answer or question. <laughs> I'll give you an answer. Thank um, you. <laughs> yeah, so farming is, is important to Jackson. Jackson County is is really like one of our our, um, our state's like kind of breadbasket areas. Mm -hmm. um, also, like these days, it seems like food is in the news more, and and food is is popular. Uh, and this is an old event. I mean, it's been happening for for uh, 30, years. thirty years, I believe. Uh, and so it's really cool to see. Yeah, this predates kind of the fad of of, uh, farm, to of farm to table, but it's legit. So you can go learn about where your food comes from, besides when you're you know just going to Polly's Country Market. Perfect. So yeah, check it out. Uh, I believe they have a Twitter page, Family Farm Fest, or at Family Farm Fest, as well as a Facebook page, uh, also, and some uh, some flyers around downtown. Facebook is severely lacking detail, but it is there. But uh, jacksonopolis.com. You can get all the deets there as well as what farms to go to and when. Um, any final thoughts on Farm Fest? I hope that I can make it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds fun. It's wildly different from anything I've done before, I think. Uh, I've been to some farms, been ages, was mostly focused on like jumping in piles of hay. <laughs> I hope they have that option there. <laughs> have I ever taught you guys the, the uh, farmer's handshake? No. Ready? No, I don't. Oh. Try, I... Yeah, try it. Try it. What am I doing? Mm. <laughs> All right. I was like, do I do I mimic it? Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Okay. Well, thank you for that. No problem. I'll just go up to everyone there. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. uh, and then uh, a few other events we've got going up at, going on in the coming uh, days and weeks. The Affinity Series at the Wax. It's actually a, a block that way if you can tell where we're at in downtown Jackson. Oh, there we go. The Jackson Symphony Orchestra. This is their like alternative cool series. Not that things at the JSO isn't cool, but this is uh, mm -hmm. a, a little hipper, a little bit younger. Um, they've got Sophia Talbic. Did you guys look up her music at all? I did, yeah. What did you think? What is it? 
I didn't at all. It, <laughs> I think it's folky, if I remember correctly. I like that. But she's it. Swedish, so that was also very Whoa. interesting Is she cool. from Sweden? I believe so. Okay. But I, check I know it out at our at our website. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll I think post all the details. Yeah, video. As well as the JSO uh, website. Um, so that's uh, this Friday, and then there's Raspberry Fest at Sand Hill Crane on on Saturday. Uh, Lindsay loves. I don't the wine. want to make myself a wino, but I kind of am. So, yes, so you'll we've probably got see me there. A resident <laughs> wino. I'll, I'll be there with you. <laughs> and the Grass Lake Heritage Fest is coming up. That's mm -hmm. a big deal. Also Saturday. Mm -hmm. Have you been? I've not, but if it's anything like other area heritage festivals, it's going to be awesome. Good. Uh, fried goodness. food, probably. All right. Tractors, so, probably. You had me a fried Grass <laughs> Lake. It'll be good. Laugh and Brew Comedy Night at 127 Brewing. Killer beer, killer comedy. That's Saturday, September 19th. Oktoberfest, there's two in Jackson on the 25th and 26th. The Grand River Marketplace is having one. There's also one outside the YMCA. Live music, live, uh, yeah, live beer bands, tastings. beer tasting, food. Beer. Beer. Yeah. Did we mention beer. there's beer? It's Oktoberfest. Yeah. Beer. Uh, <laughs> and American Trash Part 3 is September 27th, and this is a cool underground-ish pop-up art gallery. You can make art while you're there, mm -hmm. collaborate with nice. others, enjoy the scene. As well as um, live music and uh, including hip-hop, which is really cool. It's a very diverse uh, kind of live thing that is happening. I, I recommend it. If you're, if you're kind of sick of some of these... Uh, well, or maybe not sick of. If you're looking for a different art event that is very different from uh, ones we've had in town recently, this is a good one to go to. It's very really fantastic. Very different, yeah. Really I, fantastic. I miss the part one and two, but I've been to a couple uh, similar art scenes mm -hmm. that these guys have put together, and it's it's awesome. It's yeah. really cool. Um, so that wraps up our events, and we're going to capture this time around. So tune in next time for This is Jackson.